Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting topic for all the ship enthusiasts out there. We'll be discussing how to estimate the empty weight of ship for those interested in the fascinating world of ship salvaging. So, let's dive right in. When it comes to estimating the empty weight of ship, we need three key values: the gross tonnage, net tonnage, and dead weight. These values provides a solid starting point for our estimation process. The formula we'll be using is quite simple: empty weight equals gross tonnage minus net tonnage minus dead weight. By subtracting the net tonnage and the dead weight from the gross tonnage, we can obtain an estimate of the empty weight of the ship. Let's take a closer look at each of these terms. Gross tonnage represents the total internal volume of the ship, including all enclosed spaces, machinery, and cargo areas. It provides us with the measure of the ship's overall size. Next, we have net tonnage. This value reflects the useful capacity of ship's cargo space. It's calculated by deducting non-revenue earning spaces from the gross tonnage. These spaces typically include crew accommodations, machinery spaces, and certain tanks. And lastly, we have dead weight. This refers to the maximum weight of cargo, fuel, water, store, passengers that a ship can carry when fully loaded without exceeding its draft limitation. Now that we have understand the individual components, let's put it all together. If we subtract the net tonnage from the dead weight from the gross tonnage, we can estimate the empty weight of ship. For example, let's say we have ship with a gross tonnage of 5000 tons and net tonnage of 3500 tons and dead weight of 2000 tons. Using our formula, empty weight equals 5000 minus 3500 minus 2000 and we find the estimated empty weight of the ship is 500 however it's essential to note that this estimate may not be entirely precise various factors such as fuel water and other supplies may be present even when the ship is empty additionally ship designs can vary and this formula provides a rough estimate to obtain more accurate data it's recommended to refer the ship specification, construction plans, or consult with the naval architect or shipbuilding experts. They can provide more detailed information tailored to the specific ship you are interested in. And that's a wrap for our today's video. We hope you found this information very helpful and insightful. If you have any questions or suggestions for future topics, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on ships, maritime industry and much more. Until next time, safe sailing.